Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, D and uh, E are the midpoints uh, on the side lengths uh, AB and uh, BC respectively. And furthermore, uh, this uh, line segment uh, CE is uh, 9 and this uh, line segment EB is uh, nine units as well whereas uh, this uh, line segment ad is uh, 12 and this uh, line segment uh, db is uh, 12 as well and moreover these uh, blue lines uh, cd and uh, ae intersect each other at uh, 90 degrees and now our task is to find the value of this uh, side length uh, x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that these uh, blue lines uh, CD and uh, AE are the medians. And now let's recall a very crucial uh, topic, uh, centroid, the point in which the three medians uh, of the triangle uh, intersect. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we can see that this uh, AF, uh, BD and uh, CE are the medians and they intersect each other at this uh, point P called uh, centroid. And furthermore, keep in mind uh, that this uh, length uh, AP is going to be twice uh, as this uh, length uh, PF and this uh, length uh, CP is going to be twice uh, as uh, this uh, length uh, PE. And moreover, this uh, length uh, PB is going to be twice uh, as uh, this length uh, DP. So therefore, in our case, we can see that this uh, point of uh, intersection is going to be the centroid. And I'm going to label this point uh, as an F. And furthermore, uh, if this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase a, then uh, this side length uh, has got to be 2 times a. And likewise, if this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase b, then this side length has got to be 2 times uh, b. And furthermore, if these angles are uh, 90 degrees, uh, then uh, these angles have got to be 90 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle uh, CFE, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 9 b and uh, 2a we are going to use the pythagorean uh, theorem now and here's our pythagorean uh, theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our longest uh, leg is going to be 9 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is a uh, 2a whole square and b is same as b square and in our case our longest leg is a 9 so that is going to become 9 square so therefore this is going to give us 4 a square plus b square equals to 9 square is 81 let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and here's our next step let's focus now on this another right triangle a f d whose side lengths are 12 a and uh, 2b and we are going to use the pythagorean theorem once again and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our longest uh, leg is uh, 12. so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a square and then uh, b in our case is uh, 2b whole uh, square equal to in our case our longest leg is uh, 12 so this is going to become 12 square so let's go ahead and simplify so this is going to give us a square plus 4 uh, b square on the right hand side uh, 12 square is uh, 144 let me go ahead and call this uh, our equation number two and now we can see we got uh, these equation one and two and now we are going to add up these uh, two equations and here i have copied uh, down these equations one and two and now let's go ahead and add these two equations up. 4a square plus a square is going to give us 5a square plus b square plus 4b square is going to give us 5b square equal to on the right hand side. If we add 81 and 144, 
we are going to get uh, 225 and now we can see this equation is divisible by 5 across the board so let me go ahead and divide uh, by 5 uh, across uh, the board so therefore we are ended up with the a square plus uh, b square equals to 45 let me go ahead and call this our equation number three and here's our next step let's focus now on this uh, right triangle uh, afc whose uh, side lengths are x 2a and uh, 2b and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, this uh, x is our uh, longest uh, leg so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we're going to have a 2a whole square plus likewise 2b whole square equal to our longest leg is x so it's going to become x square so let's go ahead and simplify that's going to give us 4a square plus 4b square equal to x square and now we can see on the left hand side 4 is in common so i can factor 4 outside 4 and then a square plus uh, b square inside this parenthesis equal to x uh, square and now let's focus on this uh, equation 3 we know a square plus b square equals to 45 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this a square plus b square by 45 uh, as well so therefore let's go ahead and make a substitution 4 times uh, 45 uh, equal to x square so therefore x square is going to be equal to 180 now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides so on the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with the uh, x uh, equals to and now let's focus on the right hand side uh, square root of 180 i have copied it down over here and if we simplify everything uh, we ended up with the uh, six times uh, square root of uh, five so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, square root of 180 by this uh, six times square root of five so therefore the right hand side is going to become uh, six times uh, square root of uh, five so therefore the value of x turns out to be 6 times square root of 5 so thus our side length uh, x turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 5 units and that is approximately equal to 13.42 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye